This is a WOSU COVID-19 update. Good evening, I'm Mike Thompson. The economic impact of coronavirus came through clearly today. Last week, nearly 188,000 Ohio workers filed unemployment claims. That compares to 7,000 the week before. Because of the sudden spike, web infrastructure cannot keep up. State officials urge patience and suggest filing during off hours. There are now 867 confirmed cases in Ohio, including 15 deaths. The virus is in 60 of Ohio's 88 counties. But these numbers will pale in comparison to what's to come. Models project at the peak, Ohio will see up to 8,000 new cases each day. Officials say stay-at-home orders and social distancing is helping, but it's still not enough. This would have been the peak of our surge had we not taken the decisive and important actions. I can't tell you enough, this is so important. We have got to even clamp down more. We have got to stay at home and we can't go the other direction right now. In other developments, voting rights groups are considering legal action after lawmakers move to extend Ohio's primary election through mail-in voting. People who have not already voted and were registered for the COVID-19 canceled primary must request an absentee ballot application, then wait for the actual ballot, then mail that back, all by April 28th. Voting advocates say the process is too cumbersome and takes too long. Honda has extended its plant shutdown through April 7th. The Ohio High School Athletic Association has canceled tournaments for basketball, hockey, and wrestling. Originally, they were postponed. As for school itself, Governor DeWine says it is still too early to cancel classes for the rest of the academic year, but it's not looking good. Stay up to date on COVID-19. Listen to 89.7 NPR News. Log on to WOSU.org or watch us here on WOSU TV. I'm Mike Thompson. Stay safe.